Hey guys, News Now 303 here. Thanks for popping in. Uh, this video came to us about a month or so ago, right when Trump was getting shot that day, actually. Um, I've been real busy with the move and the kids, so I have not had time to edit this, but um, comes from back then. I've also got two other videos I'm working on right now, plus the story about the Venezuelan gangs here in Aurora. So thanks for coming by and check out the video. Hey guys, News Now 303 out here at the Aurora Police Department, 13347 East Montview Boulevard. It's about 106 degrees out here right now. Super, super hot. Looks like we got some uh, parking lots over here. No trespassing, authorized personnel only. Violators will be prosecuted. Uh, right now we're on a public sidewalk doesn't look like there's one on that side the sidewalk that's over there goes around the back of it so see that sign right there interesting one actually it says authorized police personnel and vehicles only but coming in over here, um, there's a sign across the street I want to show you guys that doesn't have the personnel part on it, which makes me feel like you'd be able to go into it. So that one, police employee parking only. And then there again is that other sign, authorized police personnel and vehicles only. And then across the street here, I didn't see that sign, but there could be one. I'm not sure. I'm going to cross right here and check and see over there if they have one or not. As, as you can see, there's a bunch of vehicles back over on, in this lot. Right here, it looks like maybe one personal vehicle. I'm not sure what those are. So... Here's the front of the station right here from across the street. Some cool little designs on it up on that side. Whew, it is hot, dude. Hot, hot. So right here, oh, okay, I missed it. The, the other part to that sign is this one right here, which also states authorized police personnel as well and vehicles. So they both have the same signs on them. Um, I didn't realize that, but a lot of times you'll see where it only says this one, police employee parking only. So if you wanted to walk through, potentially you could because you're not parking and you're not a vehicle. Um, they covered all their bases here with that one. So we might go inside and see if they're open. Um, it is a weekend, so a lot of the police stations will close on the inside. You'll have to put in a call for service for things which we're not gonna do. So we're gonna walk down this way. Look at this parking lot here. Oh, so they have the reserved spots over there. What does that say? Community engagement specialist, volunteer coordinator. Cameras up here. They're watching you. Thank <laughs> you. 
makes me think of like a little airplane port type thing. I forget what that, it's called, hangar. It's like a little airplane hangar. can't get over how hot it is right now this is blowing my mind so another thing I'm a smoker <laughs> so number one thing you never want to do is give them any reason to do anything to you so I even take my cigarette butts put them in my pocket because I don't want to play none of those games you know what I mean not about that life at all. I got all these metal pylons, like people just constantly want to drive vehicles into the police station. I mean, I wouldn't put it past people, but come on, for real, this trick. City of Aurora, District 1, Police. So, you can kind of see in there. No smoking within 50 feet of all city building entrances. Okay, well, good thing my cigarette's out, huh? I wonder if they've got the hours of operation up here, what this sign says here. Closed. See below for extension to dial for assistance. I don't know if you guys can see that inside. Yeah, so this whole lobby is closed. It looks like the desk in there is actually gone as well. So I don't know if uh, people even are here or what. I mean, there's police vehicles in the back. I'll go around and show you guys, like, actual police vehicles. Uh, I'm not sure what's back here. It's hard to see. Oh, yeah. They got police vehicles back there. This might be where they actually keep their vehicles then. I'm not sure. Like they all say, if you want privacy in public, gotta create it so build a higher fence because okay that makes it you know less easy for me to see since I'm on the sidewalk but got my selfie stick with me I can't tell if they have personal or not until I go back and edit this. I 
I don't have signs of no people. Okay, I can see through this one. There's some personal. I mean, those might, might not even be personal. Those might be undercover cars like that Ford truck or this Impala right here behind the sign that you can see. It looks like it's still got all the hookups. It's still got all the lights, everything like that. Another Impala, another Ford. Just a good little shot right through there. So we're over here by the Anschwitz uh, Medical Facility, which is all of this right here. CU, uh, University of Colorado Medicine. Also has a lot of their campus here. Um, huge, huge medical facility for all sorts of stuff. There's a children's hospital in there as well. Uh, Rose Medical Center is actually here um, as well which is where one of my children was born. Beautiful hospital. Whew, found some shade. It is fucking hot, guys, let me tell you. We haven't had heat like this in Colorado in some time. I mean, it gets hot, don't get me wrong. Winter's cold, summer's hot, but we're breaking some records right now at 106, 107. So, just saying. It ain't usually this hot. I got shorts and a t-shirt on. Still sweating balls right now. they spend some of our money on some cool stuff like not sure exactly what that is but pretty cool I guess some sort of decorative something or other FedEx, yeah, well, the lobby's closed, so you can't get in there anyways. I'm trying to deliver a package there, I'm guessing. Go to that side, but 
clearly there's no sidewalk there, so oh, there's some officers right there. Not sure what they're up to. But we won't be going on that property, obviously. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Good, hot as hell. It's so warm. Is For real. The news? What? You see the news? Uh, about what? About Trump. No, I mean, uh, besides what's been going on since the debate, what have you heard? He got shot. What? Yeah. Shot. When, when? Are you serious? I'm dead serious. When? He's alive, but. Oh my God. Jam, are you serious? Yeah. Holy shit, all right, you guys be safe. I'm gonna have to look that up. That cop just said that Trump's been shot like hours ago. So that would be some breaking fucking news. That's crazy as hell. Somebody tried to uh, assassinate the next president of the United States as far as I'm concerned. Like I was saying, you guys see, I got my Trump 2024 Save America hat on and these officers are saying that he was shot hours ago. So I have no idea what happened with that. I've been driving in the car, just listening to some music on the way over here. And so if that's the case, that's crazy. <laughs> Um, wow, I'm gonna have to look that up because that is insane. So it looks like this substation is still active, obviously, I mean, there's vehicles and stuff, but it's very shut down. It's almost like they might be moving to a um, different area or something or another substation. When I was on Google Maps, it said there's like a mini station down that way. Um, so I'm not sure if like that's gonna be a new one or well, I've never been over there. So I might have to go check that out on the way out of here, but that's crazy if that's the case. Wow, Trump has been shot, dude, what the hell? If you know something about that in the comments, um, let me know because that's the first I've heard anything about it. Um, and that's crazy. I mean, I, I would expect something like that with the division that's out there right now but still that's pretty insane i hope they caught the guy whoever it was um but post down in the comments um anything you guys might know about that right now because i'd be really interested to hear about that this guy coming in just shut that gate but it's not really closed or locked <laughs> So those guys seem cool. They didn't care they were being recorded, obviously. Um, which is what we want, you know? Just kind of leave us be and we're just here to gather content for a story, check up on y'all. Other than that, both go our separate ways and leave each other alone, unless we're breaking the law, obviously. I'm gonna make one more round around this building, but there's honestly not much activity here. I might go down to the Aurora Municipal Center where there's also, I think it might be Aurora PD District 1 headquarters. Um, so we'll see if they're open, try and get a complaint form, things of that nature. So we're just gonna make our way around this lot one more time and then we'll go from there. There's a Roar PD right there. Gave him a little wave. He gave us a little wave. So, just reiterating all the signs there. No trespassing. 
they have a picture on that one they got everything posted right here and that officer didn't want to stop either so seems like they're all doing good over here So if we came around shift change, they'd be coming in and out of that gate constantly, but uh, I'm not exactly sure what time that is. Um, I think it's about six o'clock or something like that right now. So they're probably all already out there patrolling, doing their thing. Uh, that's fine. I still haven't stopped at this sub, uh, substation before. I've driven past it a lot on my way to work, but um, never actually seen it. So I was kind of curious to check it out. One of my next stops is gonna be in Parker, Colorado. They've got a police station. It's kind of like the Aurora Municipal one I'm about to go to. And they've got a police station inside of the municipal center there in Parker as well. So um, it's interesting when they do that, they have like the court. What sucks about that is if they have a judge's order that says, you know, even in the courthouse, most of them are courtroom. Um, the judge's order banning photography and video and whatnot, but uh, some of them are the entire courthouse and they'll prevent you from going in with the camera and so I'm interested to see at both of these places if there is a judge's order on that or not. So we'll go around and get shots of that other lot one more time and then we'll bounce down to the one that's I think it's on Arapahoe Road. near 225. So I'll get one more shot in here too. It's all locked up though. Yeah, you can't see anything in there. Alright guys, well, news now, 303, gonna sign off for now, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.